Welcome to the Gurukul Prep podcast on 26th October. Update 1 Important Day Jand ke accession day 26th October. On 26th October, citizens in Jammu and Kashmir will commemorate accession day, one of the most significant days in Indian history, which marks the event when the princely state of Jammu and Kashmir formally joined the Indian Union. This day honors Maharaja Hari Singh the then ruler of Jammu and Kashmir, signing the instrument of accession in 1947. Despite the prospect of invasion, he chose to sign the pact, which gave the Indian government responsibility over defence, foreign affairs and communications. This pivotal decision shaped the region's future and strengthened India's territorial integrity. Update 2. Appointment J.P. Morgan Chase India appoints Pranav Chavda as new CEO. J.P. Morgan Chase Bank India announced the appointment of Pranav Chavda as CEO. The Reserve Bank of India has approved the appointment. Chavda joined J.P. Morgan in 2019 and currently leads the commercial banking division. In his new position, he will also supervise the corporate banking sector reflecting the company's ambition to merge its commercial and corporate banking activities in India. The position fell vacant after former CEO Prabdev Singh stepped down before the end of his term. Update 3. Appointment Justice Sanjeev Khanna appointed as 51st Chief Justice of India. President Draupdi Murmu named Justice Sanjeev Khanna as India's 51st Chief Justice. Justice Khanna, who is expected to take the oath on 11th November, will succeed CJI D.Y. Chandrachud, who is set to retire on 10th November. Justice Khanna will serve only six months, retiring on 13th March 2025. He graduated from Delhi University's Campus Law Center and became an advocate in 1983, mostly practicing before the Delhi High Court. Before his elevation as a judge of the Delhi High Court in June 2005, he served as senior standing counsel of the Income Tax Department and was also the standing counsel on civil matters for the Delhi government. Update 4. Awards Urmila Chaudhary honoured with Global Anti-Racism Championship Award 2024 Urmila Chaudhary of Nepal received the Global Anti-Racism Championship Award 2024 presented by Secretary of State Anthony J. Blinken. This award recognizes six civil society leaders for their remarkable courage, leadership, and dedication to promoting racial equity, justice, and human rights. An abolitionist and labor campaigner, Urmila Chaudhary was freed from child servitude at 17. She is honoured for her dedication to advancing the rights of marginalised castes and ethnic communities in Nepal and for combating systemic racism and intersectional abuses. Update 5. Banking SBI raises 5,000 crore rupees via at 1 bonds at 7.98%. State Bank of India, SBI, raised 5,000 crore rupees through a Basel 3 compliant additional tier 1 at 1. Bond issue with a yield rate of 7.98%. This is the bank's first at one bond issue for the fiscal year. According to India's largest bank, these bonds have a perpetual tenor, with a call option after one zero years and on each anniversary date afterwards. Crystal and Care ratings rate the bonds as R, with a stable outlook. The issue attracted bids from investors over 3.5 times the base issue size of 2,000 crore rupees, the bank said, adding that the total number of bids received from qualified institutional bidders was 108. Update 6. Defence Singapore-India Maritime Bilateral Exercise, SIMBEX, 2024 The 31st Singapore-India Maritime Bilateral Exercise, SIMBEX, will take place at the Eastern Naval Command in Vishakhapatnam until 29 October, according to a press statement from the Ministry of Defence. The exercise will be divided into two phases, the harbour phase, which will take place from October 23 to 25 in Vishakhapatnam, and the sea phase, 
which will occur from October 28th to 29th in the Bay of Bengal. The opening ceremony to mark the beginning of Simbex 24 was conducted on 24th October on board in Shivalik and was attended by participating units of the Eastern Fleet and the Singapore Navy. Update 7. Miscellaneous Delhi Government Establishes Special Courts for People with Disabilities The Delhi Government has announced the formation of special courts to serve the requirements of people with disabilities. The program, endorsed by Chief Minister Atishi, seeks to streamline the judicial process for people with disabilities, ensuring fair, timely, and inclusive justice. This is a historic step by the Delhi government toward ensuring justice for people with disabilities, said CM Atishi. By approving the establishment of these special courts, we are reforming the judicial system to better serve the interests of those with disabilities, she added. Update 8. National Launch of Bharat Chana Dal faced by Union Minister Pralhad Joshi Pralhad Joshi, Union Minister for Consumer Affairs, Food and Public Distribution, and New and Renewable Energy, has launched Phase 2 of the Bharat Chana Dal program in Delhi NCR, which aims to make pulses more accessible and inexpensive to customers. According to the Ministry, 3 lakh tons of chana stock from the price stability buffer will be transformed into chana dal and chana hole at retail prices of 70 rupees and 58 rupees per kg respectively in addition to chana the government has introduced bhara branded pulses such as moong and masoor dals to the market bharat moong dal will be available at a retail price of 107 rupees per kg Bharat Moong Sabat at 93 rupees per kg and Bharat Masoor Dal at 89 rupees per kg. Update 9 Abituri Ron Eli, TV's iconic Tarzan, passes away at 86. Renowned US actor Ron Eli, best known for his role as Tarzan in the 1960s TV series, has died at 86. Ron Eli began his career with minor roles in films, including South Pacific, The Fiend Who Walked the West, and The Remarkable Mr. Penny Packer. He rose to prominence in 1966 when he was cast as Tarzan in the NBC television series. Throughout the act, Eli performed the majority of his own stunts, which resulted in injuries such as to broken shoulders and multiple lion bites. Ellie also appeared in other productions, including The Aquanauts, 1960-61, the western adventure film The Night of the Grizzly, 1966, and Jurgen Gosler's slavery film Slavers, 1978. Update 10. Sports Zimbabwe sets record for highest T20i total. Zimbabwe shattered the T20I world record by scoring 344 runs in the ICC Mains T20 World Cup sub-regional Africa qualifier vs Gambia. This exceeded Nepal's earlier record of 314 established vs Mongolia at the 2023 Hengzhou Asian Games. Captain Sikandar Raza led the charge with a scorching unbroken knock of 133 of 43 balls, including 15 sixes and 7 fours. Raza became the first Zimbabwean to hit a T20i century, reaching the milestone in just 33 balls, tying with Namibia's Jan Nicole Lofty-Eaton for the second fastest century in T20i history. However, it fell six balls short of Sahil Chauhan's record 27-ball century for Estonia.